Hi Cancer and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for all your support on my channel and if you're new here, welcome. So this is the general October 2021 reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Remember it's general and won't resonate with all of you. Let's look at the main energies that come through for the month. Okay, so I feel that some of you are really tapping into your spirituality at the moment. This may have been increasing recently. You may be feeling spirit around you, for example. You may see flashes of light in the corner of your eye sometimes. When you turn, it's gone. That's a sign of an orb or an angel you know, being around you at that time. So some of you are being guided on your divine path. You may have been ascending as well as you're becoming more spiritual. So you may have had a variety of symptoms. There are loads, you know, look them up online, but um, maybe things like ringing in the ear, for example, physical ailments, ascension flu that comes and goes very quickly. Seeing these lights, as I said. Hearing messages. Some of you may be feeling a calling to do something. And this is your purpose. Um, so it's up to you, obviously, whether you do this. But for some of you are, you're thinking about your purpose in life, what you want to do, maybe it's something spiritual. You're being guided to be patient with yourself um, at this time because it takes time. You know, ascension can be frustrating. <laughs> when these things happen, like even waking up between 2 and 5 a.m., you think, goodness, how long is this going to continue, you know? Um, it does subside, I found in my experience. And in divine timing, things are going to shift for you. You definitely have an angel protecting you. With the goddess of the moon, this is again seeing the light, responding to the call, really tapping into source. I feel here, your spiritual gifts. Something may also be illuminated in your life that you feel needs to change. As you're becoming more spiritual, you may find you're not resonating with certain people around you as much for example. Could be your work, could be a relationship, or friends, family, you know. So let's take some tarot for cancer. I could suddenly then smell like a roast dinner. <laughs> That's quite bizarre. So maybe someone at this moment is cooking a roast dinner. Um, or you're thinking about food. You might love food. You may have a family celebration to come. Um, Thanksgiving, I guess. 
Okay, so some of you are really, yeah, you're really trying to manifest a change. This is where this path, divine path, is coming through. Looking at your purpose in life. Where your abundance comes from, you know, does it make you happy? Looking at all the gifts you have and how you can use them. So you may, you may even have a job offer come in. Um, again, here's that shift with death. Death and rebirth. Shedding the ego, finding peace within. A big change, a spiritual transformation in a lot of you. And this is where a lot of things will happen for you. The year will just fly when you're in this energy. Again, this is like ascension. You know, you'll just keep going up and up and up. And you'll find that opportunities keep coming your way. You'll be very abundant. You will manifest what you want because you're in this high energy. So we've got Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You might have those in your chart. Okay, anything else for Cancer? So that's really positive to get the sun. Most positive card in the deck. Things will work out for you, I feel. Um, with the bird over her eye, I feel that some of you, although you're spiritual and you're tapping more into your gifts, you're not seeing everything. But with the six of wands as well, you will have victory here in this situation. You may move, move home. Um, definitely feeling movement, ascension again. This may even bring a change for you in love with the Two of Cups. This is like the twins. So for some of you, there's someone on your mind who you're very connected to. with the Empress as well, actually, yeah, Divine Feminine Energy. So you could be, yeah, Twin Flames. I'm really feeling this is your energy, very abundant, in control. You get everything you need on your own. You don't need anyone. And that's when this person appears. So some of you may really need to do some introspection during that time. Very solitary energy. So that's really what's being advised here. We've got two ships. So for some of you, this could be a choice in love. One is your divine counterpart and one isn't. So only you can find that answer, that light within. <laughs> but you will know, Cancer. You're very intuitive. Some of you may be, you know, committed right now, the Queen of Pentacles. And then you need to make a choice with the Two of Cups. About who you want to be with. So we've got Leo, Libra, Taurus, um, Virgo. Let's clarify this Two of Cups. Wow. <laughs> Seven of Cups, yeah, you're definitely going to be a bit confused and have options in love. So if you're not in a commitment, you may suddenly you know, have two people come towards you. You've got the Empress again, that is wonderful. 
Big sign of a twin flame connection here, manifesting what you want when you're in this very loving energy. Yeah, with the High Priestess, this is a very spiritual connection that some of you are manifesting with that magician. You've never let go of this person. You have this deep inner knowing. You may find you're connecting telepathically. And it seems this person returns. May have been a long time coming, very slow moving energy but they get there in the end, very committed and loyal. Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, so with the Hermit, a lot of you really will need to reflect meditate on this you know I feel that one of them you are one of these people you are very connected to but it's like a negative attachment definitely three energies here <laughs> for a choice So there's an age gap potentially um, between you and this person or both of these people actually I feel um, a message comes in and I can really see one is very spiritual and the other is a bit negative that person may be in a low energy so trust how you feel. But you will manifest what's for you. Magician has come through again. And, you know, for twin flames, the magician is very positive. Together you can manifest anything. So we've got Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So they're telling me some of you are committed already and you've been very burdened by that situation and if not with a person in your career I feel so there's definitely a shift coming here for you Cancer So, someone may be travelling from a distance to see you. I really feel this is someone who you had an ending with. It was quite painful, but they want to heal things and have success with you. We've had the sun twice, Leo energy, that's really positive. And this person wants a new beginning with you. It could transform. So again, there's the death card. The butterfly here and here. Quite beautiful. And um, we've got 3113 three, one, three or 1331. So you may be seeing numbers like that. Mirrored numbers as signs. Always look, look up the meaning. Let's take some whispers of love. Well, for cancer. So have faith, first of all. Wow, all the butterflies again. Transformation's really happening for cancer. I feel healing with the yellow. Okay, some of you may need to look at relationship patterns that need to change. This could be where this transformation happens, you know, in terms of the way you behave, 
and think about relationships. Maybe something has kept happening, you know, like, and you just think, well, relationships don't work out for me. So that's your mentality. That's then when the same thing occurs. So be in this positive vibration. Look to your inner strength. You can get through this. I feel for some of you it's linked to your inner child. Self-love. Knowing you are worthy of the highest love of all. And someone who's a vibrational match for you. Because I'm really feeling some of you have grown out of a relationship here. It seems to be coming through. If that resonates, let us know. And you know there's someone else out there you may have met who, you know, just is for you. I'm really getting here. You're both meant to go on the same path together, I feel. Okay, Cancer, let's take a charm. Wow. <laughs> they got stuck together, but we got one in the end. Um, we've got a heart, and it says, made with love. Not sure if you can see that. That's beautiful. So this person may bring you a gift that they have made themselves to show you how much you mean to them. So it's this page of one, someone very creative, could be a bit younger. Now this could also be you. You may be, with this transformation, thinking about your purpose. And it may be that you make things by hand and you're thinking about branching out and, you know, turning this into a business and you'll be very successful, I feel. Wow, we've got the anchor again. That's quite, you know, a strong message here around stability. First of all, I'm also seeing here like repressed emotions that need, might need to resurface these relationship patterns. A lot of reflection with the hermit might be needed here. And you've got the star showing you are blessed. Your destiny is on the way. I'm really feeling here. Healing again. Yeah, healing's coming through a lot here for a lot of you and then you will achieve that beautiful you know manifestation with the, with the magician okay cancer i hope you've enjoyed this reading please do comment if it resonates sending lots of love and i'll see you soon